Hello everybody, my name is Mahed Muhammad, and you're just in time for some good old Cartoon Network at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Who am I? For those who don't know, Checker Pass is a programming block a part of Adult Swim. Its gimmick is airing Cartoon Eric shows that otherwise have stopped airing on the main network for two hours. A noble and interesting concept that Cartoon Eric has never tried to do before. The block launched on August 28th, 2023, with four shows out of the gate. And how is it? Well, let's find out. Checkered Pass's main concept, like I mentioned earlier, is to play classic Cartoon Eric shows at a semi late time for two hours before the proper Adult Swim block fully begins. The shows out of the gate are Dexter's Laboratory, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Quite an interesting lineup to be fair. I find Billy and Mandy to be such an odd pick when you're limiting yourself to four shows out of the gate. That show did last for quite a while when it was airing, and it definitely sticks out when the other cartoons are from the 90s, while this show is clearly a 2000s program. That's like if Nickelodeon did this block and then chose Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Rocco's Modern Life, and Invader Zim. It would be a bit odd, don't you think? And I'm not even saying Billy and Mandy is a bad pick, I think it's a good show, but it's just really odd how they chose three 90s shows and then one 2000s show. Moving on, all four shows have been re-rated from TVG or TVY7 to TVPG. I don't know why they did this when nothing of the actual episode was changed. I'm guessing airing on Adult Swim just has that effect. It doesn't make me wonder if previously banned episodes from these shows, like Dexter's Lab, will air on this schedule, like the infamous Rude Removal. That would 100% fit a PG rating. Another change is the show is being presented in 16x9, by stretching this 4x3 screen to fit the entire screen. This bugs me. I'm definitely grateful we didn't zoom into a 4x3 image to make a 16x9, that's just losing the picture and isn't fixable. At least most TVs nowadays let you squish the screen back into 4x3, fixing it. But I would definitely prefer if it aired in its native 4x3 aspect ratio, without needing to do any of this extra work. Maybe add a checkered pattern so it's more than black bars on the side? Personally, I think that would be really cool and fit with the nostalgic vibe the block is trying to go for. Another change is the credits being aired in full, not being condensed into little white text when the episode is ending or being moved to a small corner to make room for ads. I like this. This is something incredibly rare for cable today due to companies wanting more and more ad breaks. The fact we see the ad credits this time is a nice change. I approve. We have also been getting these bumpers which I do quite like. The reminiscent of the CN City bumpers from the 2000s with the cartoon cartoons just existing in the real world, but it has that Adult Swim vibe that Adult Swim bumpers are known to have. It's just a lot more chill, featuring the tunes just chilling out by themselves or with nothing else nearby. It's almost liminal in that way, which gives off a nice chill vibe, I like it a lot. And finally, every Friday the 2 hour block is dedicated to one show for a 2 hour marathon, and an Eddie was the last one as of right now. And that is the basic idea of what Checkered Past is. It's definitely a good setup though it can be expanded upon. Speaking of which... I definitely feel there is a lot that can be done for Checkered Past. For one, add more shows. I'm guessing the four shows I've chosen are as a test run to see how people respond at first, with more shows being added later, but I can definitely predict that it will get repetitive if you tune in daily to watch the same four shows on repeat. Considering they seem to be specifically choosing these shows to be a bit weirder or less common than normal, I feel like Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, and Whatever Happened to Robot Jones will be great inclusions. These shows fit the weirder yet nostalgic vibe that Checker Pass is trying to go for. If we step into slightly more modern shows that Checker Pass could represent, I feel like Samurai Jack, Camp Laszlo, and the Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack would also fit this program a lot. Samurai Jack has aired on Adults from before during the airing of Season 5, so rerunning any episodes from Season 1-5 through five would be pretty cool. Another improvement would obviously be the aspect ratio, however I've already mentioned my fix for that in the main concept, that being to make it 4x3 and then use checker bars for the black bars. I just find it really odd how a program that's marketed as a blast from the past relive your childhood would stretch the screen out. Even some of the bumpers use a CRT 4x3 television set, so why are you doing this? Another change is more minors to have a checkered pass screen bug, instead of the Adult Swim one that you see airing on the actual shows. This is probably a me thing since I find Adult Swim logo on CN shows to be weird, but I don't know, I think adding this would help separate checkered pass as its own thing, and not just be an expansion to Adult Swim. One last improvement I would make is the timeshare. I mentioned this all the way back in the Cartoon Eto episode, but this is 2021, Cartoon Network has been fighting for time on its own channel. In 2021, the time was 6am to 2pm for Cartoon Eto, 3pm to 7pm for Cartoon Network, and 10 p.m. this is 6 a.m. for Adult Swim. Well, now in 2023, Cartoonito shrunk from 6 to 2 to 6 to 1. However, now Adult Swim starts at 5 p.m. and ends at 6. So Cartoon Eric only has 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's 4 hours. Cartoon Eric the Block has less hours on Cartoon Eric the Channel. This is an issue. Now, if you want to get technical, 5 till 7 is checkered past, so you could argue this is still Cartoon Eric, but no, it's labeled as Adult Swim. It has a disclaimer at the beginning, it has the screen bug, and the commercials are even slightly more edgy. 
But considering the fact that the shows in and themselves are not adult or have anything that makes them adult, I feel like having Checker Pass Karn as CN would help with Cartoon Network smaller and smaller time slots. Maybe from 5 to 7, use the original Cartoon Network logo from the 90s as a screen bug. Or heck, use the 2000s logo, that one was cool. Another fix would be to make Adult Swim end at 5am to have Cartoon Detail start, then have it end at 12am so Cartoon Network gets an extra hour. Or spin off Adult Swim into its own channel via something like Boomerang, and then have it shorten its time slot on Cartoon Network. Or hey, I already mentioned Boomerang. Remember Boomerang? I think we forget that exists. Why not we have Checkered Past air on Boomerang from 7pm to 6am to air classic cartoons? Boomerang was originally designed to air classic cartoons after all. I know I'm spitballing ideas, but I think these could work. It would fix this mess of a time slot. But, Checker Pass isn't all bad. These improvements are just me wanting to see it improve and reach its full potential. Are there any positives? Well... First things first. The shows are good. Dexter's Lab, Courage, Edit and Eddie, and Billy and Mandy are all quality shows. And while I do feel like there are an odd lineup at first, when you think about it, yeah, these are good picks. Another pro is them airing at 5. While I do think that the time sharing is god awful, I will admit that them being at 5pm where most kids are awake is simply genius. It allows kids to discover these iconic shows for the first time, and Adult Swim is basically introducing them to a whole new generation. I'm kinda surprised it wasn't a part of the marketing for this. Checker Pass's whole gimmick is a blast from the past, showing you cartoons that you grew up on as an adult. But why not also have a marketing push of, you love these cartoons as a child, now's your chance to reintroduce them to your children or something like that. I don't know, I just think it would be perfect. But besides that, it's good. Another pro, like I mentioned earlier, is the credits being played in full. Like I said, it's so rare to see credits anymore on cable TV or even streaming anymore considering they let you skip them but most of the time they're just condensed like I mentioned earlier. So the fact that we do get to see them again is nice and does help with their marketing. If you grew up on these shows when they were airing back in the 90s, chances are you saw the credits. So this is nice as well. I would also be remiss if I didn't mention the bumpers. Like I said, they are really nice and I hope to see more of them. From what I can tell, some of these bumpers almost seem like they were animated by people outside of Adult Swim. I don't know if that is the case or if these were just animated in-house, but I think it would be a really cool idea to have guest animators come on or fans from the show come on to animate bumpers for Checker Past. I once again, I think it would push for the marketing of like, you grew up on these shows, now look, you are making the shows! Or just having the idea of like bringing in people who are fans of the shows, animating for it now. I think it would be really cool and add a unique edge to Checkered Past. And finally, I'm just glad these shows are airing again. In a perfect world, they'll all be airing right now on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. But that channel has its own issues you need to sort out right now, but for what we have, it's good. I'm happy seeing people excited to see something on cable again, and I love this idea of having cable blocks be for more niche subjects. Cable is dying, so why not reinvent it so you can have a schedule for iconic cartoons? Allow millions of people to be waiting patiently at their TV waiting for that one episode to air, like how it was done years ago. Is it more convenient to go on something like Max to binge 5 episodes of Ed and Eddie? Yeah, sure. But a lot of charm is lost with this. It's more convenient, however you lose out on stuff like a sense of community. Some streaming services like Hulu are testing out stuff similar to this, where you have to wait until a certain time for an episode to unlock. However, I don't think this is really a solution and doesn't really replicate it as well. Maybe instead have a live stream format where everyone can be watching the exact same moment, all eagerly waiting for the episode to air at the exact same time and everyone reacting to it at the exact same time. Maybe even throw in some bumpers or commercials beforehand that we can all react to. I think that would work a lot more. I honestly doubt it would happen, but you have to admit, it would be cool. Overall, Checker Pass is a promising concept. I see a lot of potential for a block like this, and hopefully it does well so it can continue on and evolve. If it had more cartoons and fixed a few small issues, I think it has a chance to do really well and even cause a bump up for Cartoon Network's ratings. Though, considering the fact that the block literally did just come out, I feel like I might be judging it too soon. But who knows? Though, from what I can tell already, the block obviously does have a lot of passion put behind it. And you can tell the people working on it do have a vision. A vision that we'll be seeing unfold over the coming months. So, Cartoon Network's doing a good job of representing its classic cartoons. What are you doing, Nickelodeon? Jesus. <laughs>